sometimes you need to tie a tarpaulin in place and it doesn't have eyelets so what you've got to do is you have to tie a rope directly to the tarpaulin and if you want to make a backpack out of a sack then you can place some soft objects in the corners of the sack and tie to it to make the straps and here's how the principle works this is a rubbish bag we've got here get something soft to make a lump a bit of rag or a bunch of leaves so you form a lump in the bag and then you can tie around the lump the softer the cord the better but uh, you'll find all sorts of things will, will work the knot I'm going to use here is a slipped bunt line hitch if you pull on the tag end of the knot the whole knot disappears yet it holds very securely uh, for a job like this it's like a uh, reverse direction clove hitch if you like but it's very strong and I've made a lanyard up to hold plastic bags when I go out hunting so I can hang plastic bags from trees or on fences I might typically do this because I want to put meat in them I might, might have a pillow slip I want to put big bits of meat in or a plastic bag so on one end of the lanyard I have a Celtic button knot then I have an alpine butterfly loop which is the eye of the running noose so you place the button knot into the plastic like that to form a lump and then you place the noose, the running noose over the, the lump created and pull it tight and that holds really quite well and this is how you tie the Celtic button knot I'm only going to do the single knot version you can follow the tail end of the rope uh, through the whole thing twice to make it a much bigger knot but this will give you the idea so you form a couple of loops down through the first hole like a lot of um, knots you sort of have to do an under over weave it has a logic to it so now we have three loops come around for the last time down through that and then you go through the same hole that the standing part of the rope goes through which is under my left thumb but you go in the opposite direction so you have one rope going up one rope going down now the snugging up of the knot to make it neat you know, can take a wee while especially if you've made the double uh, button knot version and I'm not going to tighten it right up this time because I want to undo it but you'll get the idea you just keep on pulling through all the slack in one direction and ideally if you're making one of these you'd tie it nearer the end of the rope so you'd have less waste when you cut it off but anyway you'd cut off the tag end now and melt it just to make a lump on the end and here's how you tie the alpine butterfly loop or linesman's loop I think they call it to make the running eye so you just twist it half a turn then full turn so you get two loops then you take the top loop and you pass it around underneath everything and feed it back up through the, the doubled eye above it snug it up make it look neat and it's a very convenient knot you can tie it anywhere in the middle of a rope very handy and here's how I might typically hang a rubbish bag when I'm plucking fur from our feral brush tail possums here there's a market for the fur it keeps the bag off the ground that's what it looks like <laughs>